Hey folks, welcome back to another iPhone 14 Pro video. I'm going to share some really cool tips and tricks along with some hidden features in this video. I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro to demonstrate, but these tips and tricks are also applicable to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And most of the tricks are applicable to all the iPhones running on latest iOS 16. Before we begin, I would really appreciate if you can hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to turn on your notifications. All right, let's start it off with What's new? The Dynamic Island. The new pill-shaped notch on the iPhone 14 Pro is interactive and you can control applications through this notch. Let me show you how. If you play music in Spotify, YouTube Music or Apple Music, you can minimize the app. You will get this small icon in the Dynamic Island after the app minimizes. Long press this icon to get a quick pop-up view with the seek bar and play pause controls. and just tap it to quickly access the app. If you use the voice recorder, you will get the voice recorder icon in the dynamic island. You can long press to view the recorder pop-up or tap to access it. The same can be done with the timer and many other applications on the new iPhone 14. This also makes switching between applications incredibly easy. If you are playing music and you are using Safari along with that, and now you want to go to the music app, just tap its icon in Dynamic Island and it will quickly take you to the music app from Safari. And a bonus tip for all of you, have fun with your Dynamic Island and get this app called Apollo for Reddit. Open the app and turn on the Pixel Pals. You will see a cute cat or dog roaming around the Dynamic Island. Some of these characters are paid here and it's just fun. I can't even imagine what are the possibilities of customization with the new dynamic island. Let me know how cool is that. iPhone 14 introduces a new always on display. The screen stays super dim and stays on while your phone is lying around. Although this always on display is really intelligent, it can sense when your phone is surrounded by immense darkness and it can automatically turn off. For example, the always on display doesn't work when the phone is in your pocket. But the time it stays on for outside the pocket, it can still consume a little bit of battery and for that reason, you can choose to turn it off. So go to the settings, display, turn off the always on display if you want. Now that we are talking about the always on display, let's talk about that lock screen too. Long press the lock screen to customize. Now you have two options, you can either customize the existing lock screen or add a new lock screen. In the customize options, you can change the lock screen wallpaper and add or remove the widgets. In the add new options, you will find a whole bunch of ready-made lock screens that you can quickly apply. Use it away the way you want. Let's talk about the cameras now. iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max feature the new 48 megapixels camera sensor. But you have to enable the 48 megapixels mode from the settings in order to be able to take those high res photos. For this, go to settings, camera, formats, enable the Pro RAW and then select 48 megapixels in Pro RAW mode. Now go to the camera app, turn on RAW from the top right corner and capture the photos in 48 megapixels mode. With the iPhone 14, you can take macro photos by just closing up to the object. The camera automatically switches to macro mode, but if you want the manual macro mode control, you can go to settings, camera and turn on the macro control. Now when you get super close to an object, you have the macro control appearing on the left side. Turn it on or off depending on your choice of the picture. The video recorder in iPhone 14's camera has an action mode now which enhances the stability just go to camera, video and turn on the action mode from the top left corner of the screen. The video will be a little cropped in but stability will be super good. In the iPhone 14 Pro cinematic video mode, you can now record videos higher than 1080p at 30 frames per second. Just tap the HD resolution to switch to 4K and you can set the frame rate to 24 frames per second or 30 fps. You can also set 4K at 30 frames per second as the default resolution for the cinematic mode. For this, go to settings, camera, record cinematic, 
and set it to the resolution of your choice. Let's talk about some tips for the Photos application. You can now get rid of the duplicate photos on the iOS 16. For this, go to Photos app, tap Album, scroll all the way down and click on Duplicates. Now merge the duplicate photos. The highest quality photo will be preserved. Under the same options, you will see a hidden folder where you can store images. If you want to keep them private, to add to the hidden album, open any photo or video in the Photos app. Tap on the options and then tap on hide. You can also hide or unhide the hidden album itself from the photos app by going to settings, photos and accessing the hidden album settings. You can detach any image from its background and paste it uh, in any other application. To do this, just open gallery or photos app, open any image. Long press the subject and it will be detached. Now paste it in any other application to send it to someone or just edit it. This is one of the coolest features on iOS 16 and I think the content creators are going to benefit from this feature in many ways. On that note, if you are liking this video so far, please subscribe and comment below to increase the engagement with this video. Now the iPhone 14 series has brought the satellite SOS and crash detection mode. Make sure you enter all of your necessary details and keep it on. For this, go to Settings, Emergency SOS and set it up. By default, your iPhone 14 won't show the battery percentage. You can enable it from the settings thanks to the iOS 16 once again. Go to Settings, Battery and turn on the battery percentage. The iOS 16 also enables the haptic feedback on iPhone 14 lineup. To activate it, go to Settings, Sounds and Haptics, Keyboard Feedback. Switch on the haptics, type on your iPhone now and you're gonna love it. Let's take a look at some features of the iMessages. You can now edit your already sent messages but remember that it maintains an edit log which allows the other contact to view what changes you made. The iOS 16 has the ability to automatically convert units. For example, if you write something like 48 degrees Celsius and then tap it, it can automatically convert it to the units. Similarly, you can convert a currency by simply tapping on it. You can also translate text or convert currencies by or units by using the camera app. For this, just turn on the camera and enable the text mode and see the magic. There is a dictation mode in iOS 16. It allows you to dictate apps like notes to write whatever you want. For this, open notes or any other application and click on this small mic appearing on the lower right corner of the screen. Now speak and it will start writing. Okay, the Siri now has a feature to automatically send the messages. To enable this, go to settings, Siri, automatically send messages and turn it on. Now you can tell Siri to send a message and it will take about 30 seconds to automatically send a message. But it will still take 30 seconds like I said, so you will have those 30 seconds to cancel the message before Siri sends it. The spotlight search is now enhanced. You can search through the phone and also through the web. Just type your query in the spotlight and hit the search button and see the results right away. Okay, you can now also view the Wi-Fi passwords on iOS 16. To view the Wi-Fi password for any Wi-Fi connection, go to settings, Wi-Fi. Tap the info button, tap the hidden password and it will ask you for the face ID or passcode. Enter and you can view the password for that particular Wi-Fi connection. In the Safari browser, you can now pin tabs. So if you have a lot of tabs open and you want to preserve the most important tabs, you can pin those tabs instead and you will never lose those. Last but not the least, you can turn on automatic verification to bypass CAPTCHA on websites and applications. For this, go to settings, access your Apple ID, password and security and turn on the automatic verification. Most of the websites and applications that keep annoying you to enter that weird CAPTCHA in order to access those websites or apps, they will be automatically bypassed with the help of this feature that you just turned on. And that, my friends, is all with the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max tips and tricks. I hope you guys learned something new from my video and found some of these tips and tricks 
really useful. If you have anything to add to my list of iPhone 14 hidden features, feel free to drop that in the comments below. Do tell me which is your favorite feature in the new iPhones. Also make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.